I'm Gianni Angelini. I'm a British Heart Foundation professor of cardiac surgery at the Bristol Heart Institute. Twelve years ago, I had a massive heart attack um, on an aeroplane that hadn't taken off quite from Bristol Airport, and um, I was rushed here. And luckily, um, Gianni Angelini was in charge of people like me that had heart attacks, and that saved my life. Most of my time is spent operating on people who have had heart attack or they need valve replacement. And although heart surgery is nowadays very successful, the mortality from heart surgery is less than one or two percent, there are still complications after what is a major operation. And this is what we've been doing at the Bristol Heart Institute. We've been working towards uh, reducing or minimize the risk of serious complication after heart surgery. So yeah. you, you start from something which is pretty, it's like a scaffold on which you can put all the cell. Got it. And then you end up literally with a blood vessel which is given to the surgeon uh, to stitch it in. In fact, the surgery is the easiest bit. <laughs> That's incredible. Right? Yeah. What we're trying to do here is different. We're trying to take these patches, obviously much bigger, mm. and turn them into, for example, a tube. That yeah. will be implanted, for example, in a newborn baby. Good heavens. The pulmonary artery of a newborn baby will be as big as that, a bit smaller than my little finger. Right. So this is an electromicroscopy, which is a very sophisticated and complex piece of equipment, which effectively allowed you to go down not only to the cell level, but to what is inside the cell. And what you see here are small particles which are released by the cell, in this particular case, in relation to having heart surgery. For example, when you had the surgery, you came in with a damaged heart. So those particles will tell us the extent of the damage. I'm absolutely sure, and we know from work we've done, that doing the operation in that way reduce the damage to your heart. This information can be then used, for example, to develop new surgical technique.